Tadx TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Uh, today is Wednesday, November 20th, 2013. We're reporting from London today. Uh, some interesting news. The uh, damages, the insured damages from the U.S. tornadoes that killed six people that went through the Midwest on Sunday afternoon are now estimated to perhaps be uh, more than a billion dollars U.S. This is according to Risk Management Solutions. Uh, there were a total of 81 tornadoes, believe it or not, in about a 24-hour period. They struck primarily in Illinois and uh, in Indiana. So uh, that number is undoubtedly going to increase. Uh, Aeon's Dominique Christian, uh, who is the CEO of the uh, UK group, as well as uh, executive vice president of the uh, group that is the insurance group, the reinsurance group, I should say, has been named to the Lloyd's uh, Council, which means uh, he's one of the seven people that, in fact, is charged with setting policy for Lloyd's. He ran unopposed, so that's always a good thing. Uh, Willis is now reporting, Willis the broker is now reporting that insured losses from Super Typhoon Haiyan uh, that blasted uh, Leyte Island uh, the other day in the Philippines may now exceed uh, $700 million U.S. Now, you'll recall initially the figure was uh, considerably lower than 100 million US, but it's now uh, almost at a billion dollars. Uh, FYI, in London here, there are people collecting uh, in a very organized manner uh, funds for the Philippine refugees who are victims of the storm. Um, in Beirut yesterday, Al Qaeda, of all people, exploded a, a significant bomb at the Iranian embassy in Beirut, killing 26 Iranian soldiers. Al-Qaeda, of course, is a Sunni Muslim extremist group, uh, and of course the Iranians are Shias. So uh, this, you know, the, the conflict between those two branches of Islam is spilling over into the uh, Assad uh, versus the Syrian rebels situation already, further complicating it. In a mall under construction in South Africa, just north of the city of Durban, uh, yesterday afternoon, a roof collapsed. Uh, one person was killed and some 50 people remain still trapped as we went on the air. Uh, it's unknown whether they are alive or dead. Uh, after three days of heavy rain on the Italian island of Sardinia, uh, some 16 people have been confirmed dead and another 20 are missing. Yesterday afternoon, a Lear jet, which was a medical evacuation jet, a hospital jet with two pilots and uh, two doctors on board, crashed after takeoff from Fort Lauderdale International Airport in South Florida. Uh, the plane had flown from Cozumel, Mexico with a patient, uh, deposited the patient in Florida, and then took off again, minus the patient, and then subsequently crashed. Two people have been confirmed dead and two are missing. They most likely will be dead. Uh, the U.S. federal government is now finally officially investigating the Tesla Model S. This is after three battery fires in five weeks. Battery fires are uh, fires originating in the lithium ion battery, uh, which of course sparked literally no pun intended concerns with the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, which also had lithium ion batteries that caused its grounding. And at the uh, Aerojet Rocketdyne facility, which was a uh, manufacturer supplier for uh, missions to Mars, uh, exploratory missions to Mars. At Rancho Cordova, California, near Sacramento, there was an explosion that killed one person yesterday. The plant has been shut down. It's not known the extent of the damage. The plant operates under military-grade security, so it's unknown not only the extent of the damage, but officially what they produce there. And at the uh, Total Oil Company refinery in Antwerp, Holland, there was an explosion yesterday evening that killed at least one worker. The plant has been shut down. And if you live in New Zealand, you know this already, of course, uh, Canterbury, New Zealand was the uh, site of several, uh, several very large earthquakes beginning uh, last February. Um, there was a Monday night earthquake of some 4.6, uh, which when the quake began, began to uh, inspire fears amongst Canterburyans that in fact, uh, this was another big one, 7.5 or greater. It was only a 4.6, but seismologists are saying that what's occurring is the earth is readjusting itself to fill the void created by the two previous big quakes. More quakes are expected, one perhaps big enough to readjust the earth back to fill that void. Not good news there, especially if you are Ajit Jain in Berkshire Hathaway, who has gone on a selling spree of 
earthquake insurance in that area. That's the news for today from London. We'll be reporting again tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you then.